Right, I decide I'm gonna have a swim on my undies. Because it's such a nice day. Much better than a cold shower. Where are my pants, Rebecca? <laughs> on the beach, she said. Covered in sand, soaking wet, and those towel pants. <laughs> nice. They're dripping wet. Oh, just like me. Guess I'm walking around in my undies for a while. Hey, so remember these guys? There's those potatoes we planted a while ago. So um, they're coming through pretty well. So I want to uh, top the soil up. When I was at a, a garden the other day, they, they were selling a few. So I picked up some of these small ones. I just started harvesting those today. So you can see potatoes I got out of them. Um, and then I'm going to replant those small ones. And uh, use the soil to top up these, uh, these other ones. So that's what I'm doing now. Do you remember these guys? Uh, the little experiment, I don't know. So I decided I'd um, do an experiment with an experiment. And uh, notice the tops there. One of them I decided I'd leave the lid on. The other one obviously took it off. Uh, and as you notice, there's a lot of condensation in this one. There's still airflow around the edge. Whereas this one doesn't have the condensation. So let's have a look how they're going. So some pretty good growth here. Whereas this one, not doing that good. That's my uh, little experiment. So obviously as a result of that, I'm gonna open the lid on the other one and see if they can uh, catch up. So I'm gonna make dinner. And uh, when it comes to making dinner for me, like I'm not that creative. I just look at what's in the fridge, what's lying around and trying to come up with a healthy sort of tasty uh, dish. So we've got some leftover rump steak that needs eating. Uh, we've got a couple of cups of bone broth left and then some vegetables, potatoes and some onions. And the spice of the day is this Chinese five spice. I love this stuff. So usually I would use pork or chicken when using this spice. Um, but we don't have that. We got beef instead. So I'm going to give it a go. First things first, I got the broth. Then I got the rump, the New Zealand rump. And I'm just going to slice that up and add it to the pot as well. Onion. Vegetables. Asian veggies. Capsicum, pepper, mushroom. Salt, sea salt. And then the secret ingredient, the five spice. Literally took me 10 minutes to whip that together just using leftovers. Um, and that's just one of my typical meals. So it's been a few hours and now uh, dinner is ready. Doesn't look very pretty, but it smells good. And uh, once it cools down, I'm sure it will taste good as well. So it's the end of the day and I'm uh, here in my reading, reading chair. And you may have noticed I have ice. Yeah, no, I didn't hurt myself training. This is actually uh, a computer related injury. I know it sounds kind of dodgy, but for me, like I'm spending 10 hours a day, if not more, at my computer desk with my hand in that position. And I noticed that about a week ago, it was just starting to get a bit tight at the end of the day. So here I am, I see my wrist from the computer, which means I'm going to have to look into uh, getting an ergo ergonomic mice, mouse, it's, you know, where your hand is more in a neutral position. And then uh, while I'm here, I also wanted to show you this, the human charger. Um, I actually got sent this. I'm gonna take my hand out here. So what it is, it's like a little MP3 player and it literally spits out light instead of music. So you put it in your ears and fire it up. Um, now, I've heard very good things about this and very bad things about this. So I'm a bit of a skeptic because if there's really bad things, you know, you have to ask why, right? But the idea behind it is um, it's very important that the body gets bright light or blue light and natural light uh, in the morning and avoids blue light, you know, in the evening. And again, you can read all my articles on blue light and red light and stuff about that. But the idea is this uh, is a way to help 
get some of that bright light in the morning. And then the uh, slogan here is sun in your pocket. So yeah, I mean, that's what I'm going to be experimenting with. But yeah, if you've used one of these as well, let me know. So it's time for a qualia update. It has been three weeks, maybe four weeks now that I've been experimenting with this. Uh, pretty much, I think I found the sweet spot. Three, uh, a full dose is too much for me. So what I am doing is using alternating between one third dose and two thirds. So I found one third, it's very, very mild. Like it's even hard to tell, hard to even know that you've taken it. When I go over to two thirds, I, I definitely notice it. There's definitely that little kick, uh, like the turbines sort of kick in and you know, the afterburners. However, I do notice with the two third dosage that I feel a little bit of a lull period in the afternoon. And I spoke to the guys, uh, the R&D guys around this, and they said that happens to a few people. Uh, some people just embrace it. They'll just take 10 minutes to go chill and meditate, just lie down. I don't really like those afternoon slumps, um, but some, uh, they also said that it might just, you know, you might move on from it and it may disappear over time. But when you look at some of the ingredients in here, I mean, it's, it's pretty impressive. So it is a pretty good supplement. Like it is a pretty good stack. So yeah, that's my take on Qualia after a couple of weeks now. Um, so yeah, that's me. So the sun's finally out here in New Zealand, which has been nice. So instead of reading inside in my chair, I've been sitting outside in the sun getting some vitamin D and um, yeah this week's book is The Entrepreneur Roller Coaster by Darren Hardy. I think this is the second or maybe third time that I've read it. Uh, it's kind of my go-to business book and um, yeah, I really I really like it. It's changed the way I run my business and my goals uh, that I work towards and um, how I implement systems and procedures um, when it comes to hiring uh, it's been good as well so check it out if you if you are an entrepreneur or thinking of getting into uh, entrepreneurship then yeah this is my book of the week enjoy so it's time for training uh, this week's a shorter week as we're going away Thursday night, so I'm not going to be able to do my usual Thursday or Friday night training session. I thought, you know what, it's a nice evening, let's do a little kettlebell workout outside. So, I've got my kettlebells out here, and uh, yeah, there's no plan for this. I'm just going to throw in some swings, uh, maybe some get ups, some push ups, uh, maybe some kettlebell snatches, some pressing, um, do some weighted carry, uh, one arm weighted carries, total random stuff today, do some high, high rep stuff, some supersets, some strength stuff, a little bit of skill stuff as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put this on time lapse and you can uh, sit back and then enjoy and if you've got any questions afterwards like what I actually did, just let me know. So today's uh, Thursday and we're meant to be going up north in, um, in a few minutes. I'm running around like a headless chicken. And I just realized I cut myself, so that sucks. And I'm also uh, sweating um, because it's really hot. But yeah, we're, we're heading north today, all the way up to a place called Kirikiri, which is like the top of the uh, South I uh, North Island. All right, I'm scared of brain right now. Um, because we're gonna go up there to check out a, uh, a place, uh, eco village as such. Um, got our seedlings in here. We're gonna stop off at the beach and uh, we've got a few uh, at my parents' beach place and we've got a few spare seedlings, so I'm gonna plant them out up there. Um, yeah, so we're heading way, way, way up north. Hopefully, we get up there and we, we like what we see and uh, have a great weekend, but that's all for me for now, and uh, I gotta keep packing. So we're here, this is where we're staying tonight. Uh, as you can see, we started down here in New Plymouth. We ended up here in uh, Awakino tonight. A 90 Ks of a 680K journey. And then we're gonna come back and do it all again. This is my family's beach place. This is where we lived for a couple of months. When we, when we left Australia, moved to New Zealand. Rebecca's already out in the garden, looking at uh, our old gardens. 
And that's a big uh, silver, <laughs> silver bait. Well, I didn't realize they got that big. What do you find? Oh, I'm just picking the silver bait legs that are a bit smaller. So I feel like they'll be a bit more. It's a bit of a construction site at the moment, but the view is pretty good. Depending on when this video goes out, this might be a part one of this road trip north and part two might be coming in next week's video uh, depending on when I edit this and ship it all out and everything so either way see you when I see you